Hey guys, how's it going? Well, it's a couple hours later and uh, I got the old engine turned upside down, the oil pan ripped off of it. Found some interesting things. Um, two things is this motor wasn't well looked after and for a courier van, I'm very, very surprised, but I want to show you something. When I took off the oil pan, now shit me, I should have uh, showed you guys before I cleaned it, but uh, the bottom of that thing was right full of sludge. And I can show you this. So I know what killed this motor. It does turn over, but I did find uh, filings in the uh, in the oil pan. So yeah, this one here is going to have to come completely apart, and we'll go from there. But there's the insides of a uh, a 5.4 liter, right there. Get my pointer here. See where the green thing is right here? I'm going to point. Okay, this thing right here. That's your oil pump, right there. And looks to me it's a four bolt, but it looks like Ford's got a special tool for taking those end bolts out. But that's the oil pump. There's the oil pump pickup tube right up to here, but look what's inside. Oh, doesn't that look healthy? Yikes. So, like I said, I'm not going to write this engine off just as of yet. I have never had one of these apart. I'm curious. I've um, I've looked at some YouTube video on these motors and how to do the timing change, and it's not, it doesn't look too roughly hard, but a uh, couple hours later, I was working on the other engine, and uh, I got all the guts put on the bottom end. I haven't uh, extracted the other uh, exhaust manifold bolts yet, but I got two broke off in here, so we'll drill them out. This one here I'm going to leave because there's still lots of thread on that so I'm not going to, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I got some new manifold studs going in, exhaust manifold studs. I got the other side and I got bored this afternoon because you know I like stuff that's clean. You've seen some of my stuff in the past. I like stuff clean. So I polished the, uh, the valve covers and uh, kind of cleaned it up a little bit better. Cleaned up the best I could. You know, kind, you know what it kind of reminds me of is uh, just by the looks of the he uh, valve covers, it reminds me of an old um, airplane engine. What the hell was the name of them? Um, they used them in the uh, speed or the big speed boats back in the '60s too. I can't remember the name of them. They're big V12s. Uh, Budweiser used them in their boats, and um, they were common and. The Harvards and shit, I can't even remember the damn name of this, the airplane motor now. Oh well, doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, it's coming along. I'm going to pull the oil pan. i got to drain the oil pan off of that first. But anyways, that's what killed that engine. Um, like I said, I'm not going to write it off yet. I'm going to get it apart. I want to look into what I have to buy for removing those... Um, crank uh, bolts for the mains but um, yeah we're coming along and while I was at that I actually cleaned up the engine compartment a little bit uh, painted everything all the frame gotta have it looking nice guys I'm just that way cover it up and then that way you don't have to worry about rust starting but um, anyways guys here's the look of uh, inside of a 5.4 liter and uh, yeah see look at this Look at that, look at the sludge. Inside that too, just filled with shit. And so I got a bit of washing to do this afternoon, so that's what I'm in the midst of doing right now. So anyways guys, I just thought I'd give you a quick update what's going on. Um, yeah, but um, I don't think I'm gonna go too far with this engine just up yet. This is gonna be another time. I don't even know if I'm gonna do it. I might just send it out and have it done. Because like I said, I've, yeah, I could possibly do it. You never know. It's, my biggest problem, guys, is time. And I don't have, I haven't got a lot of it. And I just got put on call again for snow removal. It's been snowing here now for four days. I've done snow removal now for about, oh, I've probably spent about 24 hours out there so far. Just in the beginning of the season. I'm pretty sure Ted179 is going to be saying the same thing. Me and him had a bet. 
a while ago. Um, actually, back on Thursday, see, I uh, I storm chase for uh, Ontario uh, Storm Tracker, and I was looking at weather probs and stuff the last few days, and I said uh, to excuse me for a minute, guys. I said to uh, myself, well, I'm predicting snow. I'm going to uh, put a warning up. And my friend Chris Page at uh, Ontario uh, Storm Tracker, before I did that, I wanted him to read my data and see if I was predicting the right thing, and he was predicting the same thing I was. So anyways, here's to say, here's our snow, and it's snowing like, focus. Oh, it won't even focus, guys. Sorry, guys. Too much light. Try this again. Open the door. Gal, yeah, if you're seeing white, that's exactly what I'm seeing. I'm just looking out the door. That's how bad it is, guys. That's how bad it is. It's storming here. I might be staying here the night sleeping in that boat. But, uh, oh well. You can always sleep in the truck, too. But, uh, yeah, that's Canada for you. So, anyways, guys, there's your update. If you like this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, if you have any suggestions for me, and if you've worked with this engine, please comment. I, I'm, I'll take all the help I can get. Um, I love input, and uh, love to hear your guys' thoughts too. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe once again. And if I don't see you again, and I'm sure I will, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Cheers.